the costumes were so beautiful, my God. The dress yeah. that you wore in the wedding scene. Oh, that was amazing. That was special. I think the right costume is very helpful for the character. That's good. Well, that's our first moment, really, working on the film, is those early costume fittings. And that's when you kind of are creating the character in your mind. What do you think? Truly stunning. Hello, Focus Fashion fans. Welcome back to Dress, the series that celebrates the costumes of Focus Features films. Today, we are packing our bags and heading to Italy, where we're going to explore the chic and playful vacation looks of Book Club, the next chapter. Hello! Oh, oh my God. What? Oh, my God. You're engaged? Oh, my God. When did this happen? It was last night. You know what that means? Bachelorette. Book Club, the next chapter, rejoins best friends Diane, Vivian, Sharon, and Carol as they take their book club to Italy and finally have the girls' trip that never came to be. I love anything that's falling apart more than I am. <laughs> when plans go awry and secrets come to light, the relaxing vacation turns into an unexpected once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Oh, Fun. Starring Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen, the film celebrates the bonds of friendship, love, and the importance of staying true to oneself. I'm so glad we did this. Me too. Yeah. The film features an abundance of vibrant vacation wear that highlights the personality and style of each of these four book club friends. One question, what's going on with the gloves? So let's talk about some of the fashion and styles that are about as iconic as the women themselves. I want to start with Mary Steenburgen's character, Carol. This is our Southern California girl who loves her prince, who loves her bohemian, and loves a flowy look. This is iconic to who she is in the movie. And when Carol's out, she is out there with her prince and her vibrant colors, and she is looking like California in Italy. I oh, that's okay. overdid it, didn't I? No, oh, absolutely, absolutely not. So let's go to Candace Bergen, who plays our judge, Sharon. <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> well, look who's very chipper this morning. She's slightly more conservative and preppy, and she's got her shirt and her capri pants. I think this is what we would like to call East Coast Beach Court. In any case, I think it's quintessential Candace. So true. All right, so let's talk about Diane Keaton who shares a name with her character, also named Diane. I really don't understand how you make that work. But she also shares something else, her personal real-life signature style. She wears a lot of turtlenecks, structured looks, and of course her big hats. That's what makes it so amazing. Last but not least, I have to talk about Jane Fonda, who plays our bride-to-be, Vivian. Her personal looks are all about bold, bright, colorful, head-turning, statement-making. You look perfect. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Jane Fonda loud, really? Sexy, but traditional. I am so intrigued by all of these costumes. I want to sit down with the costume designer and speak to him about what it's like to actually dress these four iconic women. I literally just got chill bumps. It's perfect. So, Stefan, I want to ask you, what were you most excited about when you signed on to this film? Well, when I first read the script, the first thing that struck me was that I was requested to work with four fashion icons of cinema. I loved working with the girls. I mean, for a costume designer, this is really a dream job. I have to say it's a dream job. That's so sweet. So this is a sequel, and now you're just coming on to this. How did you take the established styles of what these incredible characters were, but build on it in this trip to Italy? They were characters that already existed before me. So I had to analyze who they were and the way they were looking in the previous movie. But at the same time, I had to develop their visual presence in the movie, giving to that presence something personal of me that possibly didn't exist in the previous movie. So can you tell me how you broke down the unique styles of each of these characters? I decided to imagine that Diane would have been living in a sort of black and white world, which doesn't mean that she doesn't 
wear color in the movie, but for some reason she always was very sharp, either very light or either very dark. I think what you're doing is freaking incredible. For Vivian, I imagined that she was living in a very plush world where everything was leather, suede, honey color, touches of gold. And the dress ain't bad either. <laughs> uh. With the Sharon, we imagined that she having a past as a judge was going to be a very typical American figure. I think you're overthinking this. So I decided to use for her a main palette of black, red, and blue. I've got the same thing in blue. But with some sharp colors here and there. And it's not just fashion, it's no. also functional. Huh? And Carol, well, she was possibly the more natural to prepare because to me, she's a very bohemian character. When in Rome. So we imagine that she was living in the world with a lot of paisley and some green, some red, natural color, accents of Morocco. So every one of them has a very specific color palette and world in which they move around. There were so many great clothes in this movie. Was there one particular costume you were most proud of? I would say that possibly because it's the most peculiar is the Milano dress. So describe to me the dress. I really had fun in creating that because I was free and I even put feeders into her sleeves. Are you nuts? And from day one I was told, no, you cannot give feeders to Diane kid on, she will ask you to take them out. And I said, okay, we will take them out, fine. And in the end, the feeder stayed. So I was very pleased because she understood the costume and I realized that my work was going to be understood and I was very pleased. Just trust your heart because it always guides you right, always. Stefano, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. I, I think it must have been a joy to dress these women. Fantastico. Grazie. You all look so beautiful. So how do you dress some of the most iconic women in the world when they have such strong personal style? Let's start with Jane Fonda. We talked about her style in the movie, paralleling to her real life style, being bold and daring and head turning. Yowza! <laughs> and this dress from the wedding shot montage is no different. It is jeweled. Look at the curvaceous fit on her. Fits are like a glove. The lace, the detailing, everything about this dress screams, look at me. And that is Jane Fonda. <laughs> yes. And let's talk about Diane Keaton. That's the dress. Uh -huh. Let's start with the color palette. This neutral color palette is signature Diane in every possible way. The structured coat with the stiff collar, the A-line skirt with the polka dots, it's screaming, hello, Diane. And of course, even this feather trim on the cuff of her coat. But I will not talk about this woman if we don't talk about her turtlenecks. You saw that throughout the movie, and that has become her signature over time. Diane, you look more like you than you ever have. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dressed and seeing these amazing, playful vacation looks from the movie Book Club, The Next Chapter. I can't wait to see you all again next time. Until then. Book Club, The Next Chapter, directed by Bill Holderman.